PSA uh, means prostate specific antigen. It is a blood test that men do to screen for prostate cancer. It is a not a great test for prostate cancer. We do know that sometimes it can be elevated even in patients who don't have prostate cancer. Uh, but it's the best test we have right now in the United States to screen for it. Men who are uh, at risk for prostate cancer, meaning men who have a first degree relative with prostate cancer, African American men, uh, should consider getting a PSA test at the age of 40 and then periodically after that. Men who are not at risk for prostate cancer can wait until they're in their 50s and can have a PSA test periodically after that as well and that should be something they should discuss with their primary care physicians because there are risks and benefits to even obtaining this test. If the test is elevated then oftentimes this patient is referred to a urologist for consideration of a biopsy of the prostate. What's changed now, and specifically something exciting with slew care, is we've realized that we don't always have to biopsy patients with an elevated PSA. One, one new technology we have is the use of MRI uh, to look for lesions in the prostate uh, that may tell us that there may or may not be significant prostate cancer. This is new and hasn't existed as of a couple of years ago, but it is changing the way we manage elevated PSAs. So if a man comes to me now with an elevated PSA, we're not automatically going to a biopsy. We're oftentimes obtaining an MRI, and if the MRI does confirm evidence of a lesion, then we will proceed with biopsy. The second advantage of that test is we can actually target the exact area that we see on MRI with our biopsy. So it's a more accurate test versus doing what used to be just a blind set of biopsies. Uh, so we've moved the needle there. We've, we've made progress there. The other place we've made progress with elevated PSA is with genetic testing. We now have genetic testing that can tell us that if you had a previous elevated PSA and you've been biopsied, we can actually test your prostate tissue and to assess what the risk is that you may eventually develop prostate cancer. And if that risk is low, we may not need to do biopsies in the future. So the big picture is what's changed. Imaging with MRI and the use of genetic testing has really transformed the way we manage patients who have elevated PSAs.